Hey everyone, I'm here in my room again. So hopefully you enjoyed the last vlog where I was talking about, you know, Cal State Long Beach and I showed some stuff there. Pretty interesting, but you know, in the future I'm going to be showing more things on there because it's actually a really, really nice campus. It has a lot of great stuff like the pyramid, the, um, some fountain I talked about, like Molecule Fountain, which looks really nice actually. And, um, a Japanese garden, which is a big attraction for that school. And yeah, so on. But yeah, that's going to be, uh, you know, until later, a few weeks from now, or maybe just one week from now. I don't know. We'll see. But... Uh, I thought that I should take the time to actually talk about myself for this entire vlog. So, um, yeah, because in the past months, or really over a year now, because I st it's been about a year and a half or so, but in all that time, I've had a lot of comments just asking, you know, like, uh, personal things about me. Like, a lot of comments just asked, like, oh, what about this or that? So I'm going to be telling you as much info as I can on this vlog. So let's do this. So first of all, some of you know my real name, some of you don't, and most of you do know my initials at least, O-J. Uh, my real name is actually Oscar, O-S-C-A-R. That's my name. Again, some of you already knew that. But I am actually 22 years old. I turned 23 in December. I currently do not work, aside from the revenue I make on YouTube, which is considered self-employment, I do not work. I don't have like a working wages job, but I do go to university, as you already know, the last vlog. I go to Cal State Long Beach, also known as CSULB, which is California State University of Long Beach. That's where I go. And um, I am majoring in Communication Studies, which is a, a rather interesting degree, actually, a rather inter interesting program. Unlike most other degrees, the classes there aren't all about, you know, just show up, lecture for an hour and a half, take notes, done. And then the midterm comes, final exam comes, and that's it. No, no. There's actually a lot more to that. It's a lot more interactive. Communication studies is about communicating with people, interacting with people like interpersonally or working in a group together, like group communication and uh, leadership communication. And of course, there's a lot of public speaking on this major. I do a ton of that. And at first it was hard, but now I'm very used to doing it. And you also learn about other things like intercultural communication, you know, across cultures. And overall, it's really unique, really fun. You know, if you're majoring in something that uh, is just like a typical lecture and you're over it already, you know, you could always give more of the arts majors a chance, like theater arts, communication studies, all those, you know, all those good stuff. They really are fun. But with that being said, it's not for everybody because there are so many people in this world who are terrified of public speaking. I mean, absolutely terrified. And because of that, it, you know, there's a lot of people that say, no, that's hell no, that's not for me. Which makes sense. But again, for me, I always like doing something different. I didn't just want to be like a normal, like I didn't want to go to normal classes, you know, like just lecture, notes, and that's it. You know, it, there's a lot more to it. So I'm enjoying it and I should be graduating in about two more semesters with my bachelor's. I already have my associates, which I got um over a year ago, almost a year and a half ago. So yeah, that's been fun. So yeah, that was really fun, you know, I, w I went to uh, Long Beach City College, actually, a community college, and now Long Beach State University, so yes, I'm in Long Beach. I actually live in Southern California, specifically in a town known as Lakewood, but most people don't know that. It's closer to a town known as Long Beach, a town, or a city, not town, sorry, city, Long Beach, which most people do know, but if you don't know what Long Beach is, let me tell you this, Long Beach is like 15 minutes away from Los Angeles. If you're in Los Angeles, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty sure you've been living in a cave. But yeah, just think of me living about 30 minutes south of Los Angeles and Hollywood and Beverly Hills and all those fantastic cities that people know about. And also, I'm sure you guys know about this, but I have been doing YouTube ever since uh, December of 2013. So by the time December comes in this year, which would be in about th three months, sorry, three months, um, it's going to be my two year anniversary. And I began probably my most well-known project, you know, The World of Magic, in February of 2014. So when February comes in 2016, that's going to be the two-year anniversary of that. So it's been really fun doing all of this YouTube stuff, and I have no, I have no plans on quitting anytime soon. I really don't want to because I've seen a lot of channels out there that, you know, they post stuff, and then, like, I like their commentary, their Let's Play, you know, but then I look at their last upload, it says two years ago. I'm like, wow, I mean, this person just... And I know everybody has their own reasons as to why, but I'm just like, oh man, this person quit. Like, I can't. But yeah, I personally have no plans in quitting anytime soon. I really don't want to. I enjoy it so much. 
And like I said, I am technically self-employed. I make a very small amount of revenue, but hey, it's... And also, it would be amazing to one day do YouTube as a full-time job because people have been telling me that, like, hey, are you ever going to do this as a job? Well, I mean, I would like to if I reached that, but the thing is, it's not a simple decision of yes or no because you have to make your channel reach that status. And it would be fun, so my answer would be yes if I were to ever reach that, but again, I don't know. Nowadays, it is extremely hard. If you start a channel nowadays, even back in 20, late 2013 when I did it, it's hard. It's really hard to get a big channel just because there's so many people out there, you know. All the bigger channels usually started earlier so they have their fans, subscribers, and people really watch the bigger channels more. So that means they watch the smaller channels less. That's in general. There are exceptions. I, don't, I, I understand that. But I'm just saying in general. That's why, you know, people that start channels nowadays, it's hard. It's hard to get a big channel and I'm working hard and uploading a lot, but who knows? I really do hope so that one day I reach that status, but sometimes realistically you have to look at it and be like, it's just going to be a hobby with some small time revenue on the side, but I'm going to be having to get a job eventually once I graduate and doing YouTube. I can't just do YouTube. It's not enough revenue. That's just what I'm saying. But that's enough about that. I, I talked about all the revenue stuff because people were asking me, you know, about all that, like, as a partner and... But yeah, uh, that's it on that. I really don't know what else to say about me personally. You could just keep asking questions and, you know, hopefully I um, just keep answering. I have gotten more recommendations as to what games to play and I will be doing them. Probably beginning with Uncharted because I got, you know, a few comments about that. But I have to finish up this, the After Years game. I really do. And plus, I'm, I am doing World of Magic, Summoner's War, and vlogs alternating, you know, at around there in like a, the middle of the day in between the two Final Fantasy videos. So that's currently my schedule. Feel free to keep commenting, asking more questions, and I think in the future I will be doing like an actual q and I did answer a few questions I've gotten, you know, specifically about personal questions regarding myself. In the future, any questions that you ask, you know, I'll, um, I should probably like, you know, just rec like uh, record them, write them all down, and then one day do a Q&A, you know? It might be fun. It might be fun, you never know. But yeah, that's it on that, so. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, sorry I wasn't outside this time, but I'm going to be mixing in outside videos with in my room videos. Like the last one was outside of me walking around. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody. And as always, until next time.